It's Fantasia. So we did get a few more pictures of growing together. I'm so excited. It's photos of the world, which is perfect because of yesterday's video. I'll explain, but these photos look stunning. So before we get into it, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Halo. I feel you. Like it is so hard to play right now without the update and the pack. I'm so ready and I'm so glad you love my videos. Thank you so much. If you guys want a chance to get a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So this tweet comes from Sim Guru Nova and we got four new pictures of the world. Oh my goodness. The views look incredible. I am so excited to play in San Sequoia. Am I saying that right now, by the way? I still don't know if I'm saying that wrong. Some of you guys are telling me different ways to say it, and I was like, wait, which one is right? Because <laughs> I think I was saying San Sequoia, or is that one right? I don't know. I did see more comments saying Sequoia, so hopefully that's the right way, but please correct me if I'm wrong. So let's go ahead and just take a look at these beautiful photos. So this first photo here, oh my gosh, the water looking up, oh my god, the buildings, the colors, I love it. The trees, everything about this, I love, and I do want to say, you guys, so in my video yesterday, there's that clip, like, at the start of the trailer, where a lot of people were feeling like this world is giving, like, an upgraded Willow Creek type of vibe i was like yeah i can see it like with the trees and stuff just the way that view looked but i did also say in the video like a little bit later when we went back to that clip that i want to see more and it personally doesn't bother me if it did resemble willow creek in any way yeah i don't think this i don't think this world is going to resemble it too much to be honest like from what we've seen like we did see a couple screenshots when the pack first was announced and i never thought it looked like willow creek from those so you know what like it probably won't like i'm really not too worried about it so this next photo this is like the type of shot where people are like oh no like it's it's giving too much willow creek but i think it's just the trees honestly i think it's cute like i want to see more of this little neighborhood because you can see like i don't know if it's just one big circle or what but this view again just so pretty like the bridge and then this photo this is my favorite i think i am obsessed with it this is where i'm just like okay this is gonna look different like i don't know these boats the way they look with the dock i don't know if we can walk there actually i think sim guru nova answered it i don't think we can but i'll go over that the sunset just looks freaking gorgeous i am obsessed and then this view we have seen but we saw it from a different angle so again to me this looks different too guys i'm getting more excited like just from these four screenshots i'm really excited excited for this world. I love getting a new world. It's like one of my favorite things. Okay, so yeah, Simguru Nova did say we can't walk on those specific docks, but you can walk on other docks. So I feel like we're used to that. There's like certain worlds where we can walk on the docks and then others like our Sims can't get to it. So there's actually two more photos that were attached in this thread. Of course, I'm going to have the links down below so you can go through the thread because Simguru Nova did answer some questions. So that's exciting because I'm not going to be going over that in this video, but look, I just, oh my gosh. And this here, I don't know. This gets me so excited. Wait, is this like a I think this is a real lot we can go into. It looks like it anyways. I hope so, because that would be cool. It's so pretty. I just love the colorful boats and everything. It's stunning, guys. I feel like I'm gonna fall in love with this world the way I fell in love with, like, Tartosa. The way Tartosa feels to play in, like, when you're actually in gameplay, is, like, breathtaking. And I don't know, this is giving me, it's nothing like Tartosa, but it's just, like, giving me that same feeling, like, I need to play in it, you know? So those are all the pictures that I'm gonna go over today, but I did want to go over one tweet that I did mention in yesterday's video. I couldn't remember, like, where I saw it, but I found it. You know how in the trailer, you know, a lot of people are feeling like they didn't show enough gameplay like as they usually did. Some people are worried, but then I felt like this actually means that there's probably more deep gameplay, which is harder to show in a trailer because we're used to having packs where there's not very much like deep gameplay. It's very shallow. You know, we just have a lot of new objects that we can play around with. Nothing that like really, I don't know, pulls us in. There's so many features in The Sims 4 where you like you do it a few times and you're kind of over it, right? This pack, I think it's going to be like seasons type of vibes, maybe even better. I don't know about you, but like I never get tired of seasons and I feel like it changes the game forever. Of course, I feel like this is the type of pack that's going to do that. And Sim Guru Nova did say here, the trailer did prominently feature family dynamics, milestones, and social compatibility. There is so much more in the pack. There were also a few other features nestled in there that y'all might not have picked up on initially. It's hard to capture in two minutes. So of course we're getting a live stream. You guys know that. Definitely tune into the live stream. I cannot wait. I'm so excited because that's where we're really going to get to know the feel of this pack. I just feel like I just, I just know it. I know that there's features in this pack that they can't really show. I mean, they could, but then it would be, I feel like it would end up being like a messy trailer. Like, you know, they want it to be nice. There's a nice voiceover. Like they want to show a story, right? And I feel like it's hard to do that while also like pulling up all these boxes to like show like how this works this works like milestones like a lot of people are saying milestones are kind of giving a vibe where it's going to be kind of like a memory system in a way and i think that too so like 
I mean, they could have shown it, but I could see the vibe they were going for in the trailer and it just wouldn't have fit right with the vibe. So I truly believe there's going to be depth and it was just like more difficult to kind of decide what to show in the trailer and like how to tell the story while also showing things. So I'm excited. I cannot wait to see how this actually is. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. If there's more news, I'll go ahead and do another one tomorrow. But with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! The night.